Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Tech Tajendra. And in this video, we will do the exam preparation of Red Hat Exam 288. We will create, build, and deploy a application into the OpenShift cluster. And if there is any issue, any problem in building and the deployment application, then we will do the troubleshoot also. The viewer who is planning to give this exam 288 very soon. So this whole series of exam preparation is going to be very fruitful to them. Please check all these videos related to the exam preparation before you go to the exam. So in this video, we will solve this problem, build and deploy a Node.js applications. And these are the given value in this question. Uh, project name should be greet coach. Application name should be greet. Node.js image, the base image should, for Node.js should be Node.js 16 UBI 8. NPM module registry URL has been given. And uh, we have to uh, configure it like the build environment, okay, uh, with this name npm config registry. Git repo URL is given, git branch is given, and the post directory in the git also given, in which our application code is there, okay. So let me go ahead and start deploying this application into our OpenShift cluster. This is our cluster environment. I am already logged in. So if I see OC, who am I? So I can see I am logged in as a developer. Okay, so first thing, one by one, we will do everything. First thing, we have to create the project with the name Great Project. And inside this project, we have to create our application and deploy our application. For it, we will give command OC new project and the project name is Great Project. So our project is already uh, created and we are now in the project uh, OC, I'm sorry, we are in the grid project, okay? So we check OC with the OC project command. And it is saying we are using the grid project, okay? So first step is done. Next is we need to create the application with the name grid, okay? So here we have to create applications with the OC new app command, okay? So let me do it, OC, new app and the name of the application would be great what else is given okay application name should be this node.js base image should be this so it is kind of the um, h2i concept source to image right so this would be the base image and the git url is given right so it will take the source code uh, from the git url um, uh, base image is given then it will build a new image based on this uh, base image as well as the git url okay uh, for it uh, uh, we might need this npm config registry right um, uh, for the npm modules okay so this things is also given to us but we have to configure it as the build environment right so what we have to do, we will create a build argument. And then we'll give this value. Let me copy the URL from here. Okay, so that step is done. Next is our image, right? So this is our base image. Let me copy it. This is our base image. And now we have to provide the tilde sign, right? So this is the a base image. And now we have to provide our um, uh, source code locations, OK? So it will take while it will build the uh, code. It will take the code from the um, uh, repo, get repo and it will uh, use the node.js 16 base image and will build our image and application, okay? So uh, our uh, git uh, repo is this, let me copy it. And paste it here. Here it is saying the branch as well. Okay, so with the has, we can provide the branch name. So our branch name is source build. 
and inside this repository the post directory is different right so the post directory is node.js hello world so let me copy it also and with the context dire parameter we can provide the source directory okay so here is our source directory so this is the complete command okay once we will run this then it will start building our application so building our application has been started let me see the log if everything is fine or not okay if we check with the pod whether all the pod has been created correctly or not right so currently our build is done okay so let me wait for it or maybe check again still it is running so now we can see build is having an error okay so we have to check what kind of error it is so our application is not built yet right so it's not deployed yet it's having some error into the build step so we have to check the log for it we will provide command oc logs we see and our build configuration and our uh, application name this is great here in the log we can see that it is saying that error okay so json parsing error is something so some error in the json file right so what we have to do here now we have to get all the code from the git repository and have to fix this issue into our code and then repose the code into the git repository and uh, then uh, uh, again try to build okay so let me start doing it so first we have to so currently there is no uh, directory in my right so let me first clone the get okay our source code for it get clone and the get url So it is cloning. Okay, so Git repository has been cloned. And now, because it is saying we have to work on this branch, so we have to check out to this branch. Okay, for it, we have to give command git check out repository directory. And then we have to check out. Okay, now we are in the source build branch. From here, we have to check our code, right? So we let we go inside this our project directory, Node.js. Now we are our project directory, and in this two files are there, and our program is saying that we are having issue in the package.json, right? If we check again the log. Right, so here it is saying an error in the package.json file, right? So let me see what might be the error. So there are two ways you can directly open the file or you can use some other tool which might be there in your exam, already installed in your exam, okay? So one tool is the Python node tool, right? So by using that JSON tool, you can also check whether any issue in the format of JSON file or not, okay? So for it, we might try it. So <clears throat> this is the, or we try it into the Python 3 and, and we have to provide the JSON uh, dot tool and our file name okay package dot json so it has identified some issue in the file and it is saying that expecting colon 
at this line number on this character at the column number okay so let me go inside this uh, uh, file and fix this issue right so vim editor is also uh, showing this same error right at this line and uh, here the colon is missing that's why our code is not being compiled and build is failed okay so let me do that and I let me fix it so i have add a colon and let me save the file so our file is saved but this file is saved in our local directory only right we have to push the code into the get back again right so let me check get status right so our file has been changed let me add this file and then let me commit it with the masses fix json error and then let me push the code Get push pushed into the gate okay successfully now it's time to start build again to start the build again okay so if we again check everything what is there in the oc we can give command oc get all and we can see the build was running and it found the error, right? So first we have to build our applications and we have to start build again, right? So to start build again, we can give command OC start build and then follow build configuration grid. Right, so our build process has started again. From the same Git repository, right? You can see it is cloning Git repository, right? The branch name and everything we have already given. So it is started the cloning and then we'll start the build activity and we'll create the image stream also. So let's wait for a moment. So each step is it is doing all the steps. Okay, so it is saying the for image, new image post is successful, right? So now we check with the OC, get all command. Now here we can see that build is completed. Uh, previously, uh, previous build there was error the next step was number two it's done now it's completed and the pod has application pod has been created and application pod is also running very good now we have to create the route and check whether our application is correctly working or not so let's do that for it we have to expose our application or we'll see expose service and the name of our service. So route has been created. Let me check OC care route. So this is the route. Let me check with the CURL whether application is working or not. Okay, so application is working and producing the output as well. So very well, we have served this question, okay? So uh, we, get, we get the code from the gate and we found that there is issue in the building. Then we fix it and again, push back the code into the Git repository. Again, we started our build and solve the issue. Hope you like it. Thanks very much.